first things first i couldn't even enjoy the movie it was so gory i literally had to watch it like this stay tuned for smile 2 review Welcome to another episode of Claire Hair. We're doing Movie Monday, special new time at 8 o'clock. So we're talking about Smile 2 that got released last Friday. So basically, I'm going to be doing a recap and then my review of my pros and my cons towards the end of the movie. Thank you, guys, again. I've been getting it last week. We were Last week was views on views on views. So I saw that you guys gave me 2,000 views in one week. For a, for a long format video, come on now, y'all spoiling the girl. Keep it up, definitely um, share as much as you can. Just even commenting, getting the engagement up there so YouTube can know that my content's good. I really appreciate you guys so much. Enjoy first things first, don't do drugs. Like if there's any kid watching this, do your homework because this, this is a school night, but seriously, like don't do drugs. Like, so we start the movie out and it starts off with basically six days later, or six days earlier, whatever. Uh, basically, it's a continuation off of the first one, Smile One, which released in 2022. Um, it was supposed to be it was supposed to be released earlier, but what ended up happening, you know, this during the pandemic time, so um, we didn't really we didn't really know if they oh, sorry the, the movies didn't really know if they're gonna make money off it, so they did a test group and it tested fine. So Smile, so this is basically a sequel of Smile One. Um, so basically, we're we enter Naomi Scott, which is one of the best British actresses of all time um basically she comes in and she's basically a seeing she's a recovering addict um her boyfriend um ray nicholson first of all all i know is ray nicholson's mom must have hated jack nicholson i've never seen that i've never seen such an uncanny like like this is giving i'm gonna show a picture this is getting very much like you your daddy's son hey like some of the smiles that he did i was like this is this is here comes jackie like this is definitely giving definitely giving jack nicholson um but he did his thing so basically her boyfriend passed away because um she was drunk and then she um it turns out um later on it turns out that she pulled the wheel she was high like she was you know whatever so then enters the momager which me which it explains why she had it doesn't explain all of it explains why she has an addiction to um self-soothing methods that aren't ethical so basically here enters a mom so the mom so her mom's like a momager which is the worst kind um basically she's very she's very she puts pressure on her she's like hey we have this contract for a million dollars blah blah so um, she feels stressed because she had a back injury from that, um, from the car ride. So basically she goes and sees this dealer and when she enters the door, he puts a, a kimono, a kimono blade to her throat saying, are you really here? And I was like, girl, that's when you should have lived. I'm sorry. That's when you should have lived. But anyway, so, um, he ends up, you know, um, hurting himself, which is very gory. He ends up hurting himself. And basically it turns out that she's caught the smile. So basically the smile is basically a spirit or ent evil entity, um, that pretty much feeds off your 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 insecurities, your worst of your nightmares. It makes them come to life. So basically, it begins to torment her. In four days' time is usually the time frame. Um, the darker your past is, like her, she's a recovering addict, so she has plenty of that. She has guilt from her her um, boyfriend passing, and then um, basically. Um, she calls her best friend, parentheses, which we'll talk about that more. She calls her best friend and says, hey, I, know I haven't talked to you in a year, but I need someone to vent to about what's happening. So basically, she begins to get tormented like by various, like a crazed fan, um, breakout dancer. Her background dancers torment her. So basically, it comes to the final day and she meets this guy who's like emailing her. Sorry, who's messaging her left and right. And he's basically saying, oh, I have the solution to it. And he's like, hey, if we can stop, he's an ER nurse, the brother of someone who passed away from the smile thing. So anyways, he's like, if I can stop your heart. So he brings her to the freezer, blah, blah. So it turns out that um, this is all a mirage. So basically, this is all part of the smile entity. Basically, the smile entity reveals itself as like, hey, I still got you. And basically um, does away with her. And then um, the smile entity smiles on camera as she's pretty much performing at a concert to millions of viewers, basically spreading it, like spreading it out. So um, basically how the smile entity works is that the host, think of it like a parasite, it needs a host. So as long as the host passes away by the smiles doing, um, it can keep hopping, but if it's out of, his wor out of his hands, it won't. So that's pretty much just ends with that. Like uh, everybody's seeing the smile on screen. So 
my score i give it a four out of five i can say i can say is everything was on point like it came out during the right time like it's it's right before we get into the hollow like deep into the halloween season it came out like right before halloween next week i feel like that was good marketing um i feel like it was just good just good actress like naomi scott was in her bag like whenever she would pull her hair i cried <laughs> okay i felt it whenever she pulled her hair um jack nicholson he for those seven minutes he was in a movie between the flashback and um flashback and of course as a small entity you know to torment her i feel like there was a lot there that um he did good he did very well the chemistry between her and the cast like i really felt like that was her mom like i felt that like and i could resonate you know growing up when um you grow up with pretty much being a being a perfect like when your parents are baby boomers they expect you to be a perfectionist right because they're a perfectionist right so basically like growing up in that same aspect not not to that extreme like her mom hey she needs help too um but I felt like I resonated with her because like the need to be a perfectionist really can like ruin your life. Like, cause you're, you're, you're chasing something that doesn't exist. Like humans are imperfect. Like, and I'm trying to get biblical on y'all, but you know, we're literally born imperfect, you know? So I feel like that contributed to it. And I also feel like when you get, sometimes when you get success, they say imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome is basically when imposter syndrome is basically when you feel like you don't deserve the success you worked for even though you work for it but um basically that's that's basically imposter syndrome and you like just start down yourself you start um self-sabotaging like okay well i'm not going to post this video today because i don't deserve to have all these these followers i don't deserve to have all these views like just little stuff like that that um it'll start building up and then um what was another thing i like i like that the budget wasn't too high i believe the first one was i want to say it was like 12 mil and i mean like more than like 120 mil or something i think this one okay yeah, yeah i i have it memorized so tw i think the budget is 26 million for this and it's already garnered 46 million dollar opening day weekend so i feel like that was a good amount because right now you're pretty much you're still facing off against um I think they're still facing off against is Wolverine and uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth still in theater. <laughs> I mean, funny. Um, and Deadpool. So I don't know if they're still there, but like they're pretty much they're facing off against a lot of people. So, but they're the only scary movie. So before, you know, November, the Christmas, the holiday movies like Red and um, the Red One and um, Moana is supposed to be coming out this year. And uh, there's another movie that's supposed to be coming out. Mufasa is supposed to be coming out in December. So like before these big movies come out to stick this one now, because like I said, like once I feel like, I feel like the spell will be broken. Like I feel like once, um, I feel like once uh, November 1st hits, it's gonna be like, no, no one wants to watch a scary movie. So I feel like they did a good time where it wasn't like October 1st, we released the smile, but I feel like it was a good portion. It's just now they're gonna have to work really hard these next two weeks for them to do that. Um, I feel like cinematically, a lot of the jump scares, a lot of jump scares were decent. <laughs> you know, a lot of jump scares were decent, but um, I can say that like, just, it was just good. Like I, I haven't been, I haven't been that entertained in a while when it comes to a scary movie, because a lot of them go towards like, just, just being mean, <laughs> like just being mean. Like a lot of the scary movies, sometimes they just go like, they're not even scary it's just disturbing and i don't like disturbing i like a like psychological thriller like the fact that like it turned out spoiler of course that everything was like in her mind like her best friend that she dumped a year ago did not just pop up and try to save her saying ride or die blah, blah, blah. like it was good to see like that psychological thriller but that might just be me like my preference but I like a thriller i don't like it when i'm watching them. it's just disturbing like you ever watched a movie and you're just like y'all need to be put somewhere the people who created it but um the actors did good i like the fact that it wasn't anybody who was really well known like i know naomi scott because i followed her since um aladdin i think i followed her on, i think i want to say she was on disney was this was she in lemonade mouth i want to say she was on lemonade mouth i'm not sure but um i like seeing like the natural progression like i feel like they chose the right age range i feel like she's perfect age uh, age range for the role because sometimes i'll see somebody do a, a, a role and i'm just like you were too young for this or you were too old for this. like this was like perfect like she literally looked like this could be her life 
Um, I like the chemistry between the team. It's like I'm at work, but I like when I see movies like that. So my, we're gonna end up on a positive note. We're going to my cons. Number one con, it was gory. I, there were certain scenes where I'm just, and then when I hear, when I hear the blood stop, I'm like, like there was just so much gore and I wish they didn't feel like they had a resort set. Cause sometimes, you know, like I said, some movies like to be polarizing, polarizing, think of a magnet, like positive and negative. Like they like it where like either you really hate the movie or you are really obsessed with the movie. So they like, they like doing polarizing things. Like basically they like doing polarizing things. Like basically like doing something gore, gore's gonna stick with you. Like it's kind of like with bullies, like bullies love being mean because they know they're gonna stick with you compared to someone could have called you beautiful a million times a day, but someone who's, someone who is, um, someone who's mean to you is gonna stick to you more, stick to you more out. That's why some men have a tendency to be mean to you to try to get your attention. That don't work on me, I'm a Leo. If you're not kissing up to me, you don't have to come up to me. Um, but uh, I really like the fact that they weren't afraid to go to the gore, but it went too far. Like there were certain scenes where I was just like, "I, right. are you done or is you finished? Are you finished or is you done? Like there, there was like certain scenes where I was just like, all right, yeah, I'll wrap it up, Paramount, wrap it up. Cause that's who made a movie. Um, but um, what else that I didn't like? I have on here too. Um, the beginning was unclear. Like I feel like the beginning said six days later, but from what I know, you should have said six days later from smile one or you should have said six days before like that would have been a better time point because basically the, the beginning of the movie opens with um buddy who was trying to save her um the the protagonist from the last movie smile like he was trying to save her and she she he ended up seeing her he he ended up seeing her um he ended up he ended up seeing her before she um got taken by the smile thing because he was trying to save her like i wish they would have said six days after like i wish they would have said something like that like they just kind of just said six days later i was like baby six days later from what six days later from last week six days later after the hurricane six days later from 20 years ago like what are you talking about six days later what are you saying um i had that like it was very unclear i feel like honestly they could have just used it as a reference they could have said oh and then the this certain 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 so-and-so showed that he passed away from this uh, of his not of his own accord like it could have been something like that and i would have gladly accepted it um yeah the timeline it just it just was unclear okay and then i'm gonna go into my pro so my pro is naomi scott maybe every time she ripped her hair so i referenced it earlier but like there like she develops like a, a form of almost um ticks like a tick is basically like when you're highly stressed and your body cannot function um, the motors, the motor skills are pretty much, they're pretty much, the, your motor skills are pretty much shot where you can't function. So to hold control, like she would drink water, which like I said, is this movie, is this movie sponsored by Voss? Cause she was just down and down a Voss bottle of water. It was like every two seconds, which the therapist said to help you get control back. Cause like basically the reason why people will pick up their hair, pull out their hair is that at the end of the day, your hair, you can control, you can't control anything else. So I feel like um, she did really good with that. Cause I was like, oh, girl, stop pulling your hair. Stop, stop, stop. It was making me uncomfortable, which tells me that she was doing an amazing job at it. I have on a pro as well is that it was very realistic. Like a lot of people don't understand that even though these artists have all this money and even though these artists have all this money and they're living the best life, they're going to different countries, Milan Mondays, Tahiti Tuesdays, Waikiki Wednesdays, um, you know, like they're, they're doing all these things, but the issue is the fact that if you don't have internal happiness or if the fact that you have such access to everything, you're going to always feel empty. And then her mom and like at one point, you know, this is part of the, you know, in her head, but at one point her mom, she was telling her mom, I can't go on stage. I'm not ready. And her mom was still pushing and pushing for her to be like, Hey, Hey, um, you need to do this. But it was very realistic to see someone as beautiful as Naomi Scott and still know that she's empty on the inside. Like it, like a lot of these artists, like a lot of these celebrities, like they need help. They don't need to be on a stage. Can I say that? Um, but like, I just know that just, just coming from someone who had a, you know, an episode before when I was in my early twenties, like here I am the most beautifulest I've ever, you know, ever got complimented on. I'm 21, I'm young, but I felt nothing like, so much stuff is going away and like it's very easy just to go that route so that's why i said like i resonated with her with that but you guys gotta let me know whether or not you want to watch 
uh smile three do you feel like they should have just stopped at the first one but don't forget to subscribe share it's clear hair <laughs>